at all. Arthur Brooks, uh, who used to teach at Syracuse University, did a commen commencement speech uh, at Providence College, and he spoke to the students about uh, one of the great lies of our culture, that if it feels bad, make it stop. He was saying that many parents try to shield their kids from adversity, and Brooks states, some experience of adversity can build a capacity for resilience that we cannot avoid all suffering. Brooks, uh, Brooks went to uh, St. Rose of Lima, and de who dedicated herself to serving the poor, yet she suffered ill health and torment, dying at the age of 31. One of her quotes he uses is, Grace comes after tribulation. Without the burden of afflictions, it is impossible to reach the height of grace. The gifts of grace increase as the struggles increase. St. Rose of Lima realized that suffering is necessary to learn and grow. We certainly don't seek it, but it will come to all of us. And as Brooks pointed out, research shows that experiences of sadness can improve memory, judgment, motivation, and goodness towards others. But suffering per se is not evidence that you're broken. It's evidence that you are living a human life, experiencing the full range of emotions. And as Brooks says, if like Rose, you accept your suffering, that challenge can be a key part of your path to success in life. He said, you don't have to be canonized to be sanctified. Too many of our young people, I believe, have the idea today, not that if it feels good, do it, but as uh, Brooks says, if it feels bad, stop it. One needs grace to be able to live with suffering and to learn from it. It is not easy, but denying and repressing the sadness and the difficulties and the challenges of life only leads to despair and depression. So. Let us all acknowledge the reality of life, that there is suffering, that we can learn from it, and that our God, who loves us unconditionally, gives us the grace to come through the suffering, to deal with it, and to grow through it. My prayers to all of you who are in difficult situations, finding life challenging, let us pray for one another. Have a good week.